Hi everyone, welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel. Today we will recap an action, thriller movie, called The Blackout, from the year 2019. This movie tells the story of a group of Russian troops who fought against an alien invasion, which managed to control and exterminate almost all Russian people. So, make sure you watch this video till the end, for a better experience. The movie begins by showing a sparkling night in the heart of Moscow, precisely in a luxurious restaurant, when a pair of unknown people meet because both of them coincidentally visit the same place. Introduce this man named Oleg, and this beauty is the woman of his dreams named Elena. What makes Elena interested here is not because of Oleg with his wealthy family background, but from his profession, which is an Air Force soldier. After playing for a while, they were suddenly surprised by several drones flying in the sky of Moscow, it was seen that the drones emitted a red light color, indicating that the situation and conditions in the area were not okay. Curious about that, the two also rushed to find information, and from the emergency news broadcast, it was explained that there had indeed been a phenomenon, although it was not certain what caused it. What is clear is that all connections were suddenly cut off, the power went out, and it happened simultaneously in all parts of the world, except for a few points called the Circle of Life, where a small part of the city of Moscow was one of them. The scene switches to an airplane, the rapid response force under the command of Major Dolmatov, is on its way with representatives from the media. They finally arrive at a stranded location called the Quarantine Zone, in the heart of a major Russian city called Kirov. To ascertain what exactly happened, all personnel move towards a convenience store, and when emergency lighting is turned on there are dozens of bodies scattered around, from their body temperatures it is estimated that they have only been dead for a few hours. The movement continued into a tall building, where they found a fresh dinner dish, which the owner had not had time to eat. Now, the question is why no one was found there, so when the search was carried out suddenly a mysterious creature attacked a soldier with extraordinary speed, in addition to agile speed he was also immune to firearms. Long story short, one month after the incident 100 million Russian citizens were declared missing, while the local government seemed slow in handling this emergency situation, so that all that citizens and all religious believers could do was to increase worship and pray. Maybe this natural event was a possible sign of the end of the world. Turning to Russian suburbs, we are introduced to a man named Yura, who at that time had to go to fulfill a call of duty from the military, despite his weak body condition. A month later, we are shown a military post on the outskirts of the city of Kirov, which was deliberately built after the incident last month. A female lieutenant named Osmolovkaya, delivered a report obtained over the past almost four weeks, which informed that all residents of the quarantine zone had been killed by a chemical-like virus, which was in fact produced by the human body. Although it sounds strange, but that's exactly what happened, and the mission of the soldiers this time is to collect data, so that scientists can research what really happened. When night fell, some soldiers talked about the eerie atmosphere in front of their base, until suddenly the alarm siren sounded so that they had to leave the place immediately, and immediately formed a defense line, in anticipation of bad events and possible threats coming from within the forest. Suddenly, the radiation signal captured an electromagnetic object with a speed of 20 km per hour, and suddenly the electricity in the area immediately went out, and immediately a swarm of creatures came out of the forest and attacked the defense. However, in the end they managed to survive and defeat the enemy. After the events of that night, Oleg became one of the wounded, and it was surprising that the enemy that had attacked them was not human, but a horde of giant brown bears. After being injured, Oleg had to take some time off for healing, and in order to solve this problem, Lieutenant Osmo mentioned about special abilities called sensors, they are not superheroes but they know many things that not many people know, by receiving data from nowhere, like a radio when receiving electromagnetic signals. These special abilities or sensors could be the solution to this problem, and one of the most powerful of them was in a military hospital, after suffering injuries from previous events, and the person Osmo was referring to here was a young captain named Sasha. At the same time Sasha had a teenager his age named Xenia, he claimed to have been sent by someone named I.D., because I. D. had psychic powers that were almost similar to Sasha. According to him this phenomenon could not be separated from the controlling figure, who had caused a lot of this chaos. I. D. wants Sasha to help find the location of the controller, with his abilities Sasha should be able to easily find him. However, what Sasha saw at that time was like a hallucination, because the guards who were there did not see anyone. On the other hand, Xenia continued to force Sasha by entering her mind. One night, 
Major checked the readiness of the eight teams that would soon be dispatched to the city of Kirov. Here Yura joined the front guard with Olya, or the media crew who had also participated in the previous mission. While Oleg who returned to duty, will be combined with Team 4. The next day, the convoy of troops stopped in a city, which from the damage to the infrastructure there indicates that there has been a great battle. After being broadcast in the media and reaping strong reactions from all citizens in the circle of life, the Ministry of Defense finally declared war against the mysterious militia believed to have seized weapons assets at the quarantine zone headquarters. The Major ordered Oleg and Team 4 to prepare a position in a luxury housing complex, while Elena as a medical officer, will come later. The next day, Team 7 under the command of Yura, positioned in an apartment building where they were assigned to monitor the Kirov situation directly. A moment later Yura was surprised by the door of a shop that was open, even though when they passed last night the position was still closed. For the sake of security, they then checked it while installing explosive mines there. Back to the military hospital, where Sasha was finally visited by a figure who previously Zenya called by the name ID, after convincing that Sasha had this extraordinary ability, I. D showed his true face, because the controller he was looking for was still his brother, too and had almost the same face as him. At the same time suddenly Osmo with 13 soldiers came pointing weapons at ID, although all of that was useless because with ID's ability, he turned out to be able to manipulate the human mind and create an illusion, which means he could have killed Osmo very easily if he wanted to do that. Until finally I, D said that he was an alien figure, and millions of creatures seemed to be coming soon to planet Earth destroying all its inhabitants, but here I, D claimed that he was on the human side. When night fell Team 7 began to detect movement in the store, which upon their arrival turned out to be a teenager lying due to a mine explosion, so they quickly took him for interrogation. But unfortunately an unexpected action was performed when this teenager shot one of the top brass, which forced Yura to kill him on the spot. At the same time, I, D explains that he has been on Earth since 200,000 years ago, and made this planet as a destination because the solar system on Earth is relatively young, so it is possible to be inhabited even longer. However, I, D just realized that there was another alien besides himself who settled, where he was the controller of everything that happened at this time, including controlling 160 million residents of the quarantine zone, and one more important thing that 200.000 years since his arrival, a mothership carrying millions of aliens will also arrive on Earth, which according to I, D the time is tomorrow. Back to the Yura troops, where they looked tense after the killing of one soldier and the teenager, the atmosphere became even more tense with information on the appearance of thousands of armed people there. Strangely a similar situation was also experienced by Team 4 which then forced these two teams to dissolve in a great battle. They, who came out of nowhere continued to attack the defense forces without fear, even firing rockets towards Yura's room and his troops who were hiding at that time. Meanwhile a Team 4 personnel was hit by an explosion due to the increasingly crazy attack. Their Oleg relied on what little guts he still had left and tried his luck to stop the attack, with one rocket shot. On the other hand, Yura was seen trying to get up from the debris of the room after the rocket shot. Yura knew many of his members died from the explosion, so he instructed Olya to immediately launch a signal flare, so that help was sent as soon as possible. With this situation Team 7 finally decided to leave the place immediately. A purple flare was seen launching to the base, and to their surprise, the flares that were shot were almost from all squads, so it was very unlikely for Yura and friends to get reinforcements from the base. After checking the location of the other teams that might still survive, Yura confirmed that Team 4 was the only one most likely to survive. Using a rope, they began to descend the outer side of the apartment one by one. On the other hand, Sasha used his abilities to detect the whereabouts of the controller, aka an alien figure named Ra. After a little struggle, Ra was finally found on top of a skyscraper in the city of Kirov, and seemed very angry that his position had been discovered. Despite all that has been witnessed, Major still seems not so sure, until then I, D confirms that he is an alien, and if without his help, Ra will be more free to enslave humans, even destroying all citizens who are currently in the circle of life. On the other hand, shortly after the battle, Yura and three other members again received an attack from gunmen, where in the battle two members of Team 7 were killed, leaving only Yura and Olya alone.
While from the base, a combat vehicle was seen leaving the base, which was boarded by Osmo and ID, but Sasha did not participate. According to I, D if Sasha participated then Ra would not hesitate to attack the group, because at this time Ra was very angry with him. Sure enough, seconds after that explanation, dozens of missiles destroyed the base along with Sasha and the remaining troops. The next day when Yura and Olya managed to reach the location of Team 4 with a car, it was clearly visible that the previous battle had resulted in at least thousands of citizens of the city of Kirov lying lifeless, as well as the remaining Team 4 only three people. Shortly thereafter the Majors group came there, Olya who was already scared immediately approached them, but it turned out that they came not to pick up but would continue the attack on the city of Kirov on instructions from ID the journey continued and so far there was not the slightest threat that came, where this could happen because I, D weakened the enemy's attention, unless the position was getting closer to Ra then on the contrary the power of I, D would weaken, and the enemy would face like this. Not wanting to slow down the time, Major instructed the group not to be affected by distractions and stay focused on the destination. For a while the distractions were overcome by breaking through mercilessly, but here I, D emphasized that Ra would paralyze humans if there were too many. So to deal with Ra only three people were needed, including Yura, who was known as a brave and tough figure. On the other hand, it seems that Ra is mobilizing a lot of armed citizens who are getting more and more numerous, as well as on the side of the Major who has prepared a defense line under the building. Turning to the top of the skyscraper, Ra is really there and so easily he breaks Yura's attack, with these conditions I, D immediately takes the stage to start the real battle. At the same time, a suicide bomb truck sped towards the building, whereupon the Major and one soldier who was still there were killed in the explosion. However, because the explosion caught Ra off guard, I, D was able to incapacitate him, and managed to take the electromagnetic box which Yura then replaced with a grenade. With Ra's death, I, D easily eliminated all of Ra's influence, and millions of humans who were under Ra's control simultaneously died. Since then it has been revealed that I, D deliberately did not do this from the beginning because there was a certain mission, even though he could have done it without having to wait for millions of Russian citizens to become victims first, and surprisingly it turns out that his mission all this time was not only to stop Ra Den his influence but aimed at all the remaining humans building a new civilization, and the new generation of humans must recognize him as God. This clearly drew opposition from those who disagreed, including Elena. In contrast to Yura who actually thought that with the existence of ID, humans would have the strength to face the alien army and its aircraft carrier that would soon arrive. But suddenly a reckless act was carried out by Xenia, but with his illusory abilities I, D was able to turn Xenia's actions into something very silly, while making him very guilty. Because this debate has also made Oleg and Yura finally fight, and Olya was driven to act beyond her control, even though Yura himself was the only person who had always protected Olya so far. While Oleg who could not stand it immediately shot at I, D but again I, D managed to get Oleg trapped in an illusion, where everything there was seen as his own father. In a brave act, Xenia pushed the real I, D down to the bottom of the building, and killed them both. After the tension ended, they were now faced with a bigger problem, because the alien mothership had arrived on Earth. However, here Oleg did not want to be like Yura who was under control, so he took Ra's electromagnetic box and took Elena and Olya to enter the plane, and as I, D had said. Inside the plane there are millions of hibernation tubes containing aliens, which are connected to each other by pipelines filled with liquid oxygen. Which means that to thwart the parallel awakening, they must destroy the oxygen pipeline. When they almost cut off all the oxygen lines, they were all surprised by millions of capsules that turned out to contain children, and at the same time the light in the capsule in the last pipe began to go out, which indicated that the aliens were about to wake up from hibernation. When these alien children began to crawl out, they saw the representative already in front of them, seeing that Oleg immediately threw away his weapon indicating that he gave up fighting and would coexist with them, and that's how the movie ended. What do you think of this movie? Please write your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, and support our channel by subscribing, so that we stay motivated to create more interesting content for you to enjoy. And see you soon.